Ahoy there, Captain Benzie here, coming at you with an update to my video on how to get Doom running on your phone using Open Delta. Today I wanted to update this by talking about how to run Sigil. Now, Sigil is kind of the 2019 unofficial update to Classic Doom made by John Romero himself, who of course, for those of you who don't know, is one of the original team at id Software, um, one of their better known level designers. He's come back and added a whole new... Uh, a whole new episode. This is kind of the fifth episode to Classic Doom. It's all set in hell. It's got some really cool level design, though it is brutally difficult, I'm not going to lie, um, and can be really quite um, <laughs> quite cruel in some places. Um, but essentially, I want to talk about how to get this one running on your phone, as it does take a little bit more know-how than just the standard Delta Touch. Now, of course, if you want to do this, you are going to need to go and watch that Delta Touch video to start with. That is absolutely vital, of course. It is going to tell you how to get Delta Touch installed and how to get the original Doom games installed because you do need the original Doom WAD. And you'll need to either find a way to download that online if you haven't already bought it off Steam or GOG and got the original WAD files yourself. Um, I do talk about this in that other video. Uh, the link obviously doesn't exist anymore. I've had to take that down due to piracy concerns. But ultimately, all you need to do is find a copy of the original Doom Doom, download Sigil off John Romero's website himself, um, and then you can get started on this one. Now, if you do find this video useful or enjoyable, let me know by hitting like on it. Consider subscribing to the channel for all things mobile gaming, and let me know in the comments section below what you would like to see me cover in future videos. If there's any other sort of particular Doom wads that you think are worth checking out, especially on mobile, 100% let me know. I'd love to uh, chat with you guys about all of that. Come join me on social media, of course, as well. Now, Sigil itself, as I said, it's kind of, it's it's the unofficial fifth episode. It's set entirely in hell. It's got some absolutely brutal level design, as you'll see here. This level kills me time and time and time again, and I'm only on Hurt Me Plenty. Of course, this gets far worse um, on the uh, Nightmare difficulties. I really struggle to even finish the first level. It's insane. It's typical John Romero level cruelty. Um, and I love it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love it. There is no complaint from me here. Um, these are brilliantly designed levels. Um, they are a little bit cruel at times, but to me, that is just the typical Doom feeling. That is what you expect if you are playing through uh, the original Doom. And what better time than to go back and give all of this a go than now, as we've just had, obviously, Doom Eternal launched recently. been having a bit of fun with that on my PS4. Can't quite get that one to run on mobile yet, but, well, we're trying. I suppose, obviously, PS Now or PlayStation Screen Share theoretically could get that running on mobile. That'd be interesting. I might try that for a future video. Anyway, we're here to talk about Sigil. Getting sidetracked here. We're here to talk about Sigil. Um, now, to get this running, of course, as I said, you will need to have uh, Open Delta already in, uh, installed on your phone. Um, you will need to have the original Doom WAD installed. So, basically, do everything that the original... Um, the original Open Delta video that I put up tells you to do... Oh, no! And I died. Do everything the original Open Delta video told you to do, get all of that set up, then head across to John Romero's website and download Sigil. Here we are at romerogames.ie forward slash Sigil, where the G in Sigil is replaced with the number 6, because of course it is. Now, ultimately, this is where you're going to need to go to. There is a link in the description below if you're too lazy to type it in. But come here, download the free Sigil Megawad. It's only 3.1 megabytes. It doesn't take long to download at all. And um, ultimately, that is all you need. Now, there is a version here of Sigil and Buckethead for €6.66. Buckethead is a really cool guitarist. Um, it has some epic MP3 level uh, shredding tracks that you can add to this. That said, you only need the free Sigil Megawad. It's up to you if you think the Buckethead version is also worth it. Now, once you've downloaded this to your phone, of course, you are going to need to go across to whatever file manager you use. I'm using Mixplorer, fantastic one. I'll put a link to this below as well, completely free, well worth using. We've got some very powerful tools. And here we are with Sigil. So we come through to Sigil version 121. And this will give you both the Sigil Compact, the Sigil version uh, 121 WAD. Those are what we need. So you want to copy those two files. We're then going to come out of all of this, back into our main area, and of course, scroll down looking for our Open Touch folder, as we mentioned in the previous video, into Delta, because that is the Doom one, and down to Maps. Now, under Maps, you'll see I've already copied across Sigil Compact and Sigil WAD. These are the uh, previous versions. I'm going to now copy in here. The updated versions, I can delete the originals like that. And there we are. We now have the version 121 wads installed. 
If I now go back across to Delta Touch, we can, I'll show you how we go from here. So here we are on Delta Touch's main screen, and it's this little keyboard icon in the bottom right that we're going to want to go to. I'm using this on GZ Doom just because it's the one I tend to use most. If we tap onto here, you'll see this gives us mods and wads. Now, ultimately, when you look at this, it should be blank like mine is here. Tap on this little menu icon on the right twice, and it'll bring you to this menu here. Now, if you go through to Maps, which is where we have saved Sigil Compact, and Sigil version 1.2, uh, version one, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, that one. And um, we're gonna hit OK, and you'll see that it's got those now loaded there. Under mods and wads, those are loaded, and they are now along the bottom here. You can see iWAD, doom.wad, file, maps, sigil compact, and sigil version blah, 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 wad. Basically, we go into the original Doom, which we're going to load into now, and you should immediately get the sigil loading screen. That's how you know that this has already worked. Gives you the information here. So on we go through, tap through. If we go to new game, at the very bottom here is now the fifth chapter. Of course, you can still go through the game starting with Knee Deep in the Dead, Shorter House, and then up to Sigil at the end. And we go, hey, not too rough. Here we are, back into the game as I started this video. Now, ultimately, that's really all there is to it. That is now Sigil running on your phone. Um, as I said, Take your time with this one. Don't try and speed run this straight off the bat as the level design is utterly brutal. I've already seen loads of people who really struggle just to get through the first level and sometimes I do. Um, it's all very well and good saying like, you know, oh yeah, I'm great at Doom. But obviously adding things like these switches that you have to shoot and these thin narrow walkways, there is a lot to unpack in these new levels. Some really cool design changes. And um, one of the levels later on is all about walkways around cages. It's brutal and I hate it every bit as much as I love it. These levels really do uh, give the feeling that you are running through hell um, and fighting back the hordes as that like sort of ultimate fifth episode. I mean, like here, where am I going? Where's the next switch? Oh. I just have to kind of sidestep. This is John Romero at his absolute cruelest. So do be aware of that. Do understand that there are plenty of points in this uh, in Sigil that will feel completely unfair. And that's kind of the point. It's doom. It's not meant to be fair. This is John Romero at his most utterly cruel, at his most sadistic. And I, I, I salute the man for that. Anyway, there we are, guys. That is how to get Sigil running on your phone. Um, I do hope you enjoy this. I think it is a great addition to Doom. I think ultimately having Doom on your phone is just... its Doom runs on anything. You know, there, there are videos on YouTube of people getting Doom to run on their toaster um, and all that kind of thing. So it's nice to know that you can get all of this stuff also running on your phone um, comfortably, even things like Sigil, which is a 2019 update to it. 100% I recommend checking this out so get on the uh, get on the downloads get in the links uh, get in the description below for the links get this installed and let me know how you folks get on anyway thanks for watching folks happy sailing and see you in hell